Welcome back to Vantage Point YouTube channel and another episode of our video blog. Okay, well the news is I've got one of these. It's fully mastered copy of the new album on Target. I had to go out to Rattle Mobile Library to pick that up from Mr. Neil. And uh, all sounds good to me. Rest of the band haven't heard it. We have a rehearsal this Sunday, 3rd of October. Hopefully they don't need an incentive to come, but if they turn up, I can give them a copy of our finished album and uh, as long as everyone's happy with it, then it will be good to go uh, later in this year. Before that, there's one tune from it, um, Unlike Any Woman, and that's available on Friday, Friday the 1st of October. And that's from a, an emailed master I had done previously. But uh, this is the first time I've heard the full album. Um, he liked it. He said, um, Neil, Neil said it's our most complete sounding album. Although he did say at one point it reminded of him the Edgar Winter group. And uh, I, can't, I can't corroborate whether that is correct or not because I have no idea what they sound like. I've heard of them. So yes, more new music coming. Our new single, Unlike Any Woman, followed later by the, the finished album. And yes, as we're rehearsing this Sunday, we're starting work on the next album. So I think Murray's been writing some songs. I um, recorded some riffs and emailed them to him. So I guess I'll find out on Wednesday whether, um, Wednesday, Sunday, whether any of those have made it into his tunes. And uh, I think we're going for a slightly different direction with this album, slightly more riff orientated maybe slightly more complicated songs whereas the non-target album's been pretty pretty much pretty concise hard rock tunes um so but i find that out for sure when we start uh, playing on sunday afternoon and i think that is all the news for this episode all right, time for a guitar riff, and uh, this time Liam's got his acoustic guitar. And I know you're thinking, how many Vantage Point songs have acoustic guitar? Well, there is a couple, and uh, this riff he's playing is from the song Leona Hart, which is on our Demonic Dinner Dance 2 The Demon Stomp album. And well, I guess it sounds something like this. So uh, going back to our, the weekend we spent in the studio in the, the summer, the, the third track we did was a song called Real Deal. And uh, obviously, um, as with all the songs, you start recording drums. With this one, we had to, to go through and to set up a click track because there was tempo changes during it. So the click had to be mapped out so many bars at this speed, so many bars at that speed. So I figured it was probably the one that was going to take the longest to do. As it's obviously slightly harder to record when the, the tempo changes than just going straight through one tempo. But obviously I was wrong as uh, Hannah and Murray um, did it in the first take. So that seemed to go pretty well. 
need to do it straight. <laughs> So after the, the one take wonders of the, the drum and bass, I don't think myself or Liam got, got through the, the song quite so well putting down our guitars, but uh, Liam went next and recorded his, his rhythm tracks. Obviously, uh, then after Liam, I had to go with my uh, guitar parts, which I I tried to play slightly different from the way Liam plays them. So you've got two guitars doing different things, makes the the song sound a bit fuller that way. It was uh, Murray deciding what the track really needed was some uh, xylophone and then once he decided that he obviously had to work out exactly what to play and when. Sorry. 
Then obviously after working out his xylophone part, he, he went into the, the vocal booth and recorded it. I still can't quite really hear the glock compared to two sec. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yep. Is that better? Is that a lower one? Yeah. Was that better timing wise? Maybe the higher one, sorry. I don't know, but was it better timing wise? It's better, but I can nudge it along, so. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I not hear the first part? So for our trip into the archive um, in this episode, going back to 2010 when we played at Cab Vol, it was in the winter and there'd been some really heavy snow the few weeks beforehand in that, but thankfully it started to thaw just before the gig because I think we would have struggled on that hilly cobbled street parking and trying to unload our stuff there, which was good because it was our 100th gig so we really wanted to go ahead. And the, the fact that it was a 100th gig got picked up by the Metro, who wrote a, a little article on it in their gig listing page, where they were, they were very complimentary about our music, but not so much our looks. Great, your microphone. Can I just say this conjecture? Did anybody see the Metro article? Yeah. yeah! I just want to say, I should have actually read three or four of them were ugly bastards, but... <laughs> I'll see which one. <laughs> so that was the pretty one. Why are you the pretty one? <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> so uh, during the gig, one of the songs we played was the track Wanted, which is from our High Maintenance Girlfriend EP. And I think we've only played it twice. But we played it then, and I have some footage of it, which is good to, in case we never play it again, I have footage of it being played once. So uh, this is Wanted at Cab Vol, December 2010.
I've not done one of these exciting out in Edinburgh so well, so I've come to St Margaret's Park in Kersorf to uh, see if this SAS man can parachute. This will test two things, whether he can open his parachute and whether my camera operator can see him do it. So that's the end of another episode of our video blog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And remember on Friday the 1st of October, you can listen to our new single, Unlike Any Woman, on the, the digital platform of your choice. I think I realized it's the very first time